and the Benue state government has been taxed to improve on the provision of basic infrastructure and the recruitment of more workers, among others, at the primary health care centers across the state for effective delivery. Details in this report. The National Primary Health Care Development Agency, among other development partners, gave this remark at the flag of and commissioning of the State Primary Health Care Board by the Governor Samuel Otom at the permanent site in Makurudi. The board chairman, State PHCB Comfort Agogo, who also joined the fray, called on the governor to pay the nine-month salary arrears and provide storage facilities to enable the centers in the local government areas work optimally. She also laments the shortage of personnel. We can hardly have up to two workers in a primary healthcare center. And that's really because, that's really because of the delisting of the 2011 primary healthcare workers, nearly 1,000. Either they should be called back or we need to replace them. Jobs are available, equipment are there, and there is no health worker to mount the health facility. You can agree with me that the health facility, the resources imposed is of no use. It needs to have a functional gilox dedicated for immunization services and recruitment of 4,000 health workers with immediate effect. We hope to make uh, Benue State Primary Health Care uh, a training hub also, not only for health workers in Benue State, but also neighboring states within the North Central region. And we said basic health care provision fund has reached advanced stages in Benue State. We have approval from National Primary Health Care Development Agency to disburse funds directly to health facilities. Presently, we have 166 that have been approved. Commissioning the edifice, which has 23 officers, Governor Otum expressed appreciation to all development partners for their support and concern. I heard your man for several other things that we make you effective and deliver healthcare delivery to our rural people, including the backlog of areas of salaries of nine months. Very passionate about this. We're working not just for the primary healthcare board, but for the entire state to ensure that issues of salary areas, pensions, and criteria. The governor, however, assured that his government would work to defray all arrears, not only to health workers, but others as well. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.